so here we have shift registers and RGB LEDs. Nothing particularly new here, but if we take a closer look, I might just kill the lights. You'll notice that there's none of those annoying resistors in this circuit. You will notice, however, that there are two voltage regulators. These are LM317s, so they will regulate anywhere between 1.2 and I think up to about 30 volts, you know, provided that uh, your input voltage, uh, supply voltage, is um, a little bit above what you're trying to provide. So, um, 5 volts comes in. From the, provided from the USB from the computer. Um, 5 volts goes to the first shift register. I've got a red wire on this track here. And you'll see that the second shift register is being powered up by the first regulator. So that regulator is actually set to 2 volts or 2.125 or whatever. The next regulator goes to the top track and you'll see that the last and the first shift register are powered up by the second regulator on that top track. This is of course set to about three. The different regulators are set differently so that um, the red uh, LED in the RGB LEDs gets uh, 2 volts where the blue and the green LEDs within the RGB LEDs gets 3 volts. Looking at the transition levels in the data sheet um, it appeared that a loss of 1 volt would be okay. So as a proof of concept I have the blue, hence these blue wires, uh, the blue being the first shift register, the red being the second shift register, and the green being the third shift register. So the the overflow which um, comes from Q, Q7, the overflow from um, the red shift register <clears throat> is actually only coming out at 2 volts um, but that's still enough to uh, trigger uh, to, to transfer the um, overflow into the third um, shift register so basically if, if you just want to hook stuff up and you don't want to have to worry about resistors um, I think this is a, a pretty handy approach um, I just got a little demo program so you can see how I've got this thing going. Um, basically it, it loops through um, all the possible different colors on all the different possible um, LEDs. So there's, there's three nested, well, three four loops, two of them are nested, one inside the other. And um, this, it cycles blue is the slowest, so blue, then blue, then blue. Uh, red is the next fastest, so it goes blue, red, 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 blue, red, 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 blue, red, 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 and then green is the fastest still, so you get the idea. Um, it's, it's probably a bit, these LEDs are really bright, um, but you get the idea, you can see the blues moving across. Um, yeah, so that's good. Yeah, works works good. Um, I know there should be some sort of current limiting uh, when you use diodes, um, but it's not like I can feel the the shift registers. They're not getting hot or anything, so pretty happy with that. Uh, I'll probably miniaturize this. Um, I've got a whole bunch of surface mount RGB LEDs, the 5060 um, LEDs, and uh, the same shift register, only smaller, 
Uh, I'm going to try and miniaturize this as much as possible uh, and drive eight LEDs, eight RGB LEDs, so that each output from each shift register is being used. Um, and yeah, I'll uh, make up some double sided PCBs, uh, etch them out, and solder them up. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, that should work good. Thanks for watching.